yo, what up, world? It's your boy LA coming to you with another real life shit segment. Man, how y'all feel today for one? All my Spurs fans. Hey, look, I'll tell you I like this, man. If Andre Drummond is bought out, if he don't get traded by the 25th deadline, the Spurs need to sign him. Because more than likely, we're going to have to buy out, uh, uh, buy out LaMarcus Aldridge. If we able to buy him out, we need to jump on Drummond, man, like ASAP. Like, before the Lakers do. You know what I'm saying? We need to we need to steal him, man. That dude can steal ball, man. Like pop, man. They need to sign Andre Drummond. I don't think we gonna trade the Rosen, but if it comes down to it, and we do, and the Rosen is cool with the trade or whatnot. I would trade him straight up for Zach Levine or either Aaron Gordon, probably Aaron Gordon, because he's a power forward and we need that. So we get the power forward, forward that we need, you know what I'm saying? Because we got pretty much a player that can replace, you know what I'm saying, uh, the Rosen, you know what I'm saying? We really need a power forward, man. Aaron Gordon, a trade for the Rosen to earn for Aaron Gordon, that probably would be. A go. You know what I'm saying? That probably would be the best outlook. If we can't go that route, the other outlook, I'm I'm probably um the other route I'm probably thinking is Zach Levine. So either Aaron Gordon or Zach Levine, and they threw in the Knicks. If you throwing in the Knicks, the only mo- only person I see on the Knicks that be good for us is Julius Randle. So either Julius Randle, Aaron Gordon, or Zach Levine. Straight up like that. Them the only trades that I do for DeRozan. If if DeRozan want to get traded, but if DeRozan want to stay there, then shit, I don't mind keeping the dude because I mean he, he is scoring, man. He gets his buckets. He might not be able to shoot that great, you know what I'm saying. But he gets his buckets, you dig? Sometimes he do some dumb shit that I be like, God damn it, DeRozan, why you do that? Pass the ball, man. Sometimes you can't do it all on your own, man. Got to pass the ball. But other than that, man, DeRozan kind of fit in good with this squad. I wouldn't mind seeing him stay and Kwai come back and have him and Kwai uh, to play together. Boy, if, if Kwai come back... <coughs> And DeRozan decide to stay and take, man, they take some pay cuts to play together. Do y'all know what we're going to do? Goon squad. Do y'all know what we're going to do? Oh, boy. But if DeRozan hits free agency, I don't think he's going to come back to the Spurs if he hits free agency. I think he's going to probably end up going to the Clippers, man. You know what I'm saying? And if he go to the Clippers, Kwai coming home. Kwai going to be like, look, all right, you, you go there and I'm going back here. That would be damn good. Damn good. Boy, that would be a hell of a year. Uh, that'd be, I think that would be the best – Reunited situation in all the sports, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it it even it'd be better than even when Kwai, I mean when LeBron went back to Cleveland. I think Kwai coming back to San Antonio would shock everybody. With cause it really didn't shock nobody when LeBron went back to Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? But it'd shock the motherfucking world. If Kwai came back to San Antonio after this season, man, y'all know it would, man. And I don't mind seeing it happen. I know some of y'all probably like, man, 
You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. But like I said, man, this is my whole thing. I was mad at him too. But my thing is this. If Pop ain't mad at him, why am I going to be mad at him? If Pop got a good relationship with him, I don't have to have a real relationship with him, but if Pop got a good relationship with him and he want to look and he's looking to bring Kwai back, then I'm all for it, man. And y'all should be too, man. Because that's saying that there's no bad blood between the organization and Kwai Leonard, man. If Pop still has a good rapport with Kwai, there's no bad blood. Y'all got to look at that shit on the reality, man. So if there's no bad blood, who knows, man? Pop and Kwai could be talking behind closed doors and like, look, man, let's, come on back, okay? Come on back. So if he come back, man, I know y'all ain't going to be like, oh, fuck that. Oh, we don't want Kwai. Y'all going to be happy than the motherfucker. But this is your boy, L.A., man. I'm out this bitch. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, bitch. Quiet, come back. St. Louis, St. Louis, God damn. <laughs> I know he ain't come no motherfucking St. Louis, but Quiet gonna come back to the motherfucking Spurs. Hey, think about that.